Hey guys, let's talk about the division in Philosophy of Fighter. Uh, this is one of the divisions found in Kingdom Fatai. This division was formerly called as the uh, Petrol Fighter. Now, this division includes a group of uh, primitive vascular plants. The other plant body in these plants is a sporophyte. Uh, it shows differentiations into two root systems and leaves. The stem is what mostly uh, the bacillus, whereby the leaves may be smaller or larger. Vascular tissues are present in all of the vegetative parts of this plant body. Let's see the characteristics of the division phytophyta. Uh, the members of this kingdom include these hostels and defense with the following characteristics. The first one is that reproduction involves in the production of spores inside the specially structures called the sporagia, which occur on the underside of the leaves called the uh, sporophys. Now, the sporangia may sometimes be found in the groups called the suli. So, this is the first characteristic of these members found in this division. The plants may be homosporous. This means that it producing only one type of spores or heterospores, which produces two different types of spores. Uh, smaller microspores and the larger uh, megaspores. The other practice is that they are seedless vascular plants which contain vascular tissues but do not produce the seeds. This is the structure of ferns. We've already seen that ferns are the, uh, the group of organisms that are found in this division of Phyllisomophyta. So ferns will produce sexually by making spores rather than seeds. As we've seen, one of the characteristics of the members found in division Philosophyta. Now, most ferns produce spores on the underside or the margin of their leaves. Uh, like uh, seed plants, ferns have stems with the vascular system for the efficient transport of water and food. Now, ferns consist of the following structures. The first one is fronts. Now, the front, the leaf like structure of a fern. It is divided into two main parts the strip that is the leaf stuck or the petrol, and the blade that is the the leaf expanded portion of the front. The other part that is found in fence is the isosomes. Uh, isosomes would be compatible to stems in the flowering plants. Uh, fronts arise from the isosome and the, in some epiphytic fence that, that are the fence that grow on trees. And in terrestrial creeping fence, the isosomes roams widely and is lightly or quite visibly. Now, the isome contains the conductive tissues, which are the xylem and the phloem, and the strengthening. Now, the conductive tissue, known as the vascular bundles, carries the water, minerals, and the nutrients throughout the plant. You see the other structure that are uh, the roots. Uh, the roots are formed from the isomes or sometimes from the steep. Now, the roots usually do not uh, divide once they grow from this isome. The tree fern roots grow down from the crown and they help thicken and strengthen the trunk. Now, the roots anchor the plant to the ground and absorb the water and the minerals. So, that's the function of the roots in these fence plants. The other structure, or the part found in fence, is the sporagia. The sporagia, these are the reproductive structures of the fence, and the fence alleys. They produce the dust like spots that are the seeds by which the fence are propagated. Now, several sporagia are grouped together are called sporas. Uh, most fans have their sporagia on the underside of the front arranged in the organized pattern usually associated with the veins in the leaf. The other part uh, of the fence is the spores. Uh, the seeds of the fence and the fennel is uh, what we call the spores. Normally, these are formed in groups of four. Now, the spores contain oil droplets and they sometimes see profit in their nucleus. So uh, that's the structure of a fenny plant. As you can see, the various uh, parts that I discussed with the front, the hyzome roots, uh, fendoid, that is the little uh, growing, growing fen, and the, we've seen the spory. So those are just of the few of the parts of the fenny plant. You see the advantages and the disadvantages of fence. We start with the advantages. Uh, most fans are edible and the NCC serve as a source of food uh, for various uh, organisms. They provide nutrients to the soil to improve the soil fertility. Uh, the other one is that they cover the soil and prevent soil erosion as the these fence roots uh, maintain the, the soil in its 
structure. They are used as the de decoration materials. Uh, they can provide a good view. While the disadvantages are that they have uh, dangerous organisms such as snakes and insects when they are fed in the uh, same place. Uh, most fins are poisonous when eaten, uh, so only few are the ones that are eligible for eating. So that's all for this video. I hope it's clear. We've talked about the division, personal fighter, uh, the characteristics of members found in this division, uh, structure of fence. We've seen the various advantages and the disadvantages of fence. Thank you.